When determining the sign of a product or quotient, we first need to look at a simple situation. So let's look at a situation where we're only multiplying or dividing two numbers. Let's take 5 times 3. Well, that's easy. That equals 15. But what if we change the signs, making it negative 5 times negative 3? That equals 15, too. So if you're multiplying or dividing two numbers together that have the same or like signs, your answer is going to be a positive number. Now, what were to happen if we only changed one of the signs? Say negative 3 times a positive 5. That equals negative 15. Same way goes if we're dividing. Negative 15 divided by positive 3 is negative 5. So if you're multiplying and dividing two numbers together that have different or unlike signs, your answer is going to be a negative number. But you and I both know that the world's not filled with just multiplying or dividing two numbers together. So we need to look at situations where we have more than two numbers we're dealing with. When we're multiplying or dividing together more than two numbers, first thing to do is do the operation but ignore the signs. Then go back and count your number of negatives. If you get an odd number of negatives, your answer will be a negative number. If you count an even number of negatives, your answer will be a positive number. So if we look at an example, take negative 5 times positive 3 times negative 2 times positive 2. First, we multiply everything together, ignoring the signs. We get 60. Now go back and count the signs. 1, 2 negatives. 2, that's an even number. So our answer is going to be positive, positive 60. Now let's change one of the signs. To get negative 5, change our positive 3 to a negative 3. Let's leave everything else the same. Again, when we multiply the numbers together, we'll get 60 because we didn't change any of the numbers. But what about our signs? 1, 2, 3. 3. That's an odd number. Odd. That means our answer's going to be negative 60. So when determining the sign of a product or quotient, just remember, count the number of negatives. Odd, you have a negative answer. Even, you have a positive answer.